Good morning and welcome to this glorious celebration. I am Noel Wilkin and I have the honor of serving our university as Provost and Executive Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. And it is my great pleasure to introduce the 18th Chancellor of the University of Mississippi. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Glenn Boyce. Welcome to a day that we have anticipated for so many months. The long awaited opportunity to recognize the success of our 2020 graduates. Today is a day to be celebrated, cherished, and remembered. We made a promise and we got to deliver on that promise today. 2020 graduates, welcome back. We're so proud to have you here today. Thank you so much. So the first Ole Miss students graduated in 1851. Interestingly enough, I'm told the first commencement at the University of Mississippi took place in July of 1849. At the end of the new university's first academic year, although there were no graduates, and the institution conferred no degrees. This year, for the first time, we are celebrating two commencements in one week. In the words of a university historian, the late great Dr. David Sansing, that first 1849 commencement was a four-day event. Surrounding the official program included a gala ball, a sumptuous banquet, and many, many speeches. It was considered a grand gala celebration. Well, this commencement ceremony will not involve a ball or sumptuous banquets. It is certainly exceptional, as it has required a great deal of planning, flexibility, patience, and hard work for both our university and the students, families, and friends assembled here today. So thank you for that. Given the unprecedented circumstances of COVID-19, we want this occasion to be marked by a spirit of reunion with your Ole Miss family. This commencement will be written about by future university historians and remembered by all of us as a special celebration of your magnificent achievement against the backdrop of a global pandemic. This ceremony honors all that has been done to get us here today. I'd like to introduce Keely Ann Kelso to come to the stage and sing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave Can we give one more round of applause to Keeley, please? That was absolutely beautiful. So we welcome the families and friends of the graduates to campus, and we give thanks for this wonderful day. Many of you have come from great distances to see your sons, daughters, 
spouses, relatives, or friends receive diplomas. We know our graduates are grateful for your support and your encouragement. Graduates, it is our tradition to give you a moment to stand and express your appreciation to those who loved, encouraged, and supported you during your years at Ole Miss. Please, let's give them a round of applause and please stand and thank them, graduates. Thank you. Please be seated. The men and women of our faculty have committed their lives to teaching, research, and service. They have taught, challenged, nourished, and inspired our graduates while helping them prepare for their futures. They have also established friendships that continue for life. Will the faculty please stand and let us express our appreciation to you. Thank you, faculty. Members of the Board of Trustees of the State Institutes of Higher Learning are appointed by the Governor, confirmed by the Senate, and serve nine-year terms. We are grateful today for their unwavering dedication to higher education in Mississippi. Today we are pleased to have Mr. G. Ogletree to represent our governing board and join us in our platform party. Please join me in welcoming Trustee Ogletree. I am now pleased to welcome Provost Wilkin back to the podium. Thank you, Chancellor Boyce. I am pleased to introduce the distinguished and dedicated platform party who lead the university and join us today to commend our graduates. As I introduce you, please stand and remain standing. I ask that the audience please hold your applause until all are introduced. Dr. Charlotte Pegues, Interim Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs. Dr. Josh Gladden, Vice Chancellor for Research and Sponsor Programs. Dr. Shamboda Mead, Interim Vice Chancellor for Diversity and Community Engagement. Mr. Stephen Hawley, Vice Chancellor for Administration and Finance. Mr. Keith Carter, Vice Chancellor for Intercollegiate Athletics. Ms. Charlotte Parks, Vice Chancellor for Development. Professor Cecilia Botero, Dean of the Professor and Professor of University Libraries. Dr. Douglas Sullivan Gonzalez, Dean of the Sally McDonald Barksdale Honors College. Dr. Rich Forget, Associate Provost. Mr. Perry Sansing, Interim General Counsel and Special Assistant to the Chancellor for Governmental Affairs. Mr. Jim Zook, Chief Marketing and Communications Officer. Our student leaders joining us on the platform today are Mr. Andrew Heron, Graduate Student Council President for the 2019-2020 academic year. Mr. Baron Mayfield, Associate Student Body for the 2019-2020 academic year. The remainder of our platform party will be introduced later as they play a role in this morning's ceremony. Please join me in expressing our appreciation to our distinguished platform party. Each year as part of our honors and awards convocation, the LCM Hood Outstanding Teacher Award is presented to a member of our faculty. This award recognizes excellence in the classroom and exceptional engagement with students. It is the highest honor that a University of Mississippi faculty member can receive for teaching. Dr. Matthew Rison, Associate Professor of Psychology, was the 2020 recipient of this singular honor. Let's congratulate Dr. Rison. The Thomas Frist Student Service Award recognizes faculty and staff members for going the extra mile in unwavering dedication and service to students. Examples of exemplary service include student guidance and mentorship above and beyond those expected of faculty and staff as part of their job responsibilities. Any full-time faculty or staff member, except previous winners, is eligible for the award, which includes a $1,000 prize and a plaque. All nominees are notified that they have been so honored and a campus committee appointed by the chancellor chooses the winners. Dr. Saviant Taylor, Director of the Health Professions Advising Office, Ms. Carmen Riggin, Assistant to the Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, and Stefan Schulenberg, Professor of Psychology and Director of the Clinical Disaster Research Center, were selected as the Frist Student Award honorees for 2020. Let's congratulate them. <clears throat> Mr.
Mr. Matt Lusko is president of the Ole Miss Alumni Association for the 2019-2020 academic year. Please welcome Mr. Lusko. Thank you and good morning to the historic class of 2020. I'm now immediate past president of the Ole Miss Alumni Association and I was actually with you last year uh, to virtually offer my congratulations. However, there's one thing that we know about Ole Miss is that we don't do social distancing. It doesn't come naturally to us. So it's really, really great to be with this class in person and to celebrate your triumph today. I think the resilience the dedication, the leadership shown by this class last year in completing your degrees under unprecedented circumstances really set the tone for the 2020-2021 academic year at Ole Miss. While some of us wait many years to give back to our alma mater, this class's distinction comes in the legacy of leadership that you've already given during this pandemic crisis. And your university and your alumni association salutes you and thanks you. Crisis can build a strong sense of community and it is apparent that it did so for this class and for the student body that you set at the head of last year. Despite the fact that we all were apart, I felt that same sense of community become much stronger for the broader body of Ole Miss alumni through the pandemic. And so today, I invite you to become an active part of your Ole Miss Alumni Association. The Alumni Association is a compelling outlet for maintaining relationships and continuing the camaraderie that you built over the last four years. But it's also really important too to support a cause we have all come to love, Ole Miss. Though you are formally completing your graduation from the university today, as my fellow Vicksburg native Frank Everett said, one never graduates from Ole Miss. So in a few minutes, as you finally uh, get to turn your tassels as a class, on behalf of the tens of thousands of Ole Miss alumni, I am proud and humbled to count the members of the historic class of 2020 among our ranks. And we look forward to a long and rich association. Godspeed. Thank you, Mr. Lusko, for joining us today and for sharing those words. It is now my honor and pleasure to introduce our distinguished commencement speaker, Patrick Willis. Mr. Willis. <laughs> We're grateful to welcome you back to our beautiful campus, back to your college home, and a field. What more fitting place, right? where you thrilled legions of Ole Miss fans to hear your remarks on what for us is a momentous day. We are all eager, eager to hear what you have to share with the class of 2020 as this is a very special commencement. To our students and all of our guests, Mr. Willis's presence here today is very special, not only because he is such an accomplished professional athlete, but because he is a treasured member of the Ole Miss family. Today we have the incredible experience of hearing him speak in this very stadium where he began building his legacy. So Patrick, once again, thank you so much for being here. A four-year letter winner for the Rebels from 2003 to 2006, Patrick Willis is one of the most heralded defensive players in Ole Miss history. The 11th overall selection of the 2007 NFL Draft, Mr. Willis was NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year during his debut season with the 49ers. In addition to his accomplishments on the field, which are so many, Mr. Willis also managed to work through it all and holds a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. Mr. Willis's profuse achievements include some of the highest honors in collegiate and professional football. As an Ole Miss Rebel, he was a consensus All-American in 2006. He received the Butkus Award and the Jack Lambert Trophy as the nation's best linebacker. The 2006 Connerly Trophy as the best college football player in Mississippi, and the Ole Miss Chucky Mullins Courage Award. A first team All-American in 2005 and 2006, he was also a two-time SEC Defensive Player of the Year. Willis completed his collegiate career as the defensive MVP for the South team 
in the 2007 Senior Bowl. He was the star of the game during his eight-year NFL career with the San Francisco 49ers. He was named to seven Pro Bowls and voted All-Pro five times as one of the very best defensive players of his era. A 2015 inductee into the Ole Miss Sports Hall of Fame, he was also selected to Sports Illustrated All-Decade Team of the 2000s. He is enshrined in the Mississippi and Tennessee Sports Hall of Fame and was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame in 2019. Now, to the class of 2020, you know what it means to face challenges with grace and resilience. Your final months at Ole Miss were certainly not what you thought they would be, but you persisted, you overcame all those challenges, and you're here today to celebrate you and to celebrate that superb accomplishment. As you prepare to take the next steps in your journey, I know you're about to be inspired by Patrick Willis's insight and his examples of persistence and grit. Patrick, we are so grateful to have you here. Welcome. Class of 2020, Welcome back, and everyone that's in attendance. Are you ready? Hell yeah, damn right. Howdy, howdy, gosh almighty, who the hell are we? Hey, Phil Fram, oh, Miss by damn. <laughs> thank y'all, thank y'all. Let's go, let's go. It was about 16 years ago now that I remember going to my grandmother excited, ecstatic, that I was on my way to Ole Miss. I remember going up there on the front porch and my grandmother, she always sat on the front porch. My grandfather had passed at that time. And I remember telling her, Grandma, I'm about to go to college. I'm about to go to college. I'm on my way to college. And she told me, she said, baby, always keep your hand in God's hand. And I remember telling her, I said, yes, Grandma, I'm going to do that. A new journey awaits you all today, the class of 2020. You are special. It takes a lot in life to go through the things that you have to go through and get through. And every person sitting here today, you are greatness. Greatness is you, it's in you. However, to reach that greatness, that flows through you, you have to be willing to go through the valley and fear no evil, for the Lord is always with you. Monk Arthur told me when I was a kid, because I always had the aspiration to be something great. I remember I would run around the front yard backyard, any place I could, saying, I'm gonna be special, I'm gonna be special. And I remember my Uncle Arthur telling me, Check, all right, here we go, here we go. <laughs> all right, he said, boss, no matter what you do, give God all the praise, glory, and honor. And at that time, I wasn't really for sure what that, would, what that really entailed. Mind you, he was a professional boxer. I wasn't sure what that entailed. I just said, yes, I, got, I, will, I, will, I will do that. Here I am now at the University of Mississippi, 2003. 
hard to believe, but I'm here. The journey it took to get there was something that I'm not sure if, if, if you all have had times when you have these big dreams, visions, and you say you're going to do something, but yet someone tells you, nah, less than 1% can do that. Nah, this, this is not for you. You're supposed to go this route. And I remember it was in the eighth grade that my guidance counselor I was talking to, we was, it was my guidance counselor I was talking to, and she told me, she said, well, what do you want to do? I said, well, when I grow up, I want to be a professional athlete, and I want to, and before I could get the second part out, she says, well, nah, less than 1% can do that. And I said, well, I guess I'll be in that less than 1%. That's how much I believe. So I, I, I'll tell all of you, I tell all of you, if you believe and you have a dream, go for it. Let no one take that away from you. Let no one cloud that. As you all go up, as you all go on and upward in life, may you not forget what it has taken for you to be here at this moment. The highs, the lows, and all that's in between. The fact that we are here today is special. Why do I say special? Because God makes no mistakes. No matter what it looks like, he makes no mistakes. All things work, work out for the good of those who believe. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and hope. In all that you do, know that you are armored as you go forward. You are armored with purpose, vision, and passion. Purpose powers the mind. Let me say that again. Purpose powers the mind. When you have a purpose, it directs you, and you go after with everything you got. Today, as I look out at you all, I see my two nie- I see two of my nieces. So if I might need to get some water. I see two of my nieces right now of eight, and I remember what it was like growing up. And I don't know if I'm sure all of you here today has had someone who was special to you. But I remember growing up and looking at my uncles and thinking to myself, man, I, I, I thank y'all. I, I love how y'all make me feel. And, I, and now that I have nieces, I remember telling myself, I said, you know what? One day, I want to look at them and tell them anything is possible. Anything is possible. So as I look out at you all right now, I'll tell you all the same thing. Anything is possible. This life, it has its ups and its downs. But stay strong. Believe in yourself and all that you do. I said before, you are armored with purpose, vision, and passion. The creator created you and I for purpose. There was something that was in mind. So understand, you open your eyes. I'm sorry. So understand, each day you open your eyes, you are purpose, and you are purposeful in sight. Vision. The creator gave you and I vision. Vision is to fulfill the purpose that was in mind. Vision drives the body. When I was a kid, it was eight years old. I remember watching Monday Night Football. I remember 
Well, it was the Dallas Cowboys. I was a Cowboys fan growing up, by the way. <laughs> but speaking of vision, I was watching the Dallas Cowboys, and I didn't know what it was at that time that I was watching TV, watching the Dallas Cowboys. But as I was watching it, I didn't just, I wasn't just watching TV. I began to see myself there. And so I, I, I would tell you all, I, can we do something real quick? Vision. I want you all to close your eyes. Close your eyes for me if you don't mind. Vision, when you close your eyes, is the capacity to see beyond sight. Sight is what you see when you open your eyes with your two eyes, and vision is what you see with the one. And so as I was watching TV at that time and not knowing then what vision was, I saw myself on TV, light sparkling, I'm running down the field, and I remember saying to myself, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna get that done. And so as you have your eyes closed at this very moment, I want you all to envision that which is inside of you and go for it and get it done. The class of 2020, you all are vision. It was something that you saw a long time ago that you're on your way to fulfilling now. Graduating is just the beginning. It's just the start. Passion. The Creator gave you and I a passion to do all things. Passion is the essence that is felt from the inside out. Passion fuels the soul. When I say passion, for those of you who saw me play, you saw the energy that, that I played with, that was a combustion of <laughs> joy, just being able to play the game that I enjoyed. It was joy because as I was out there running, I, I, I saw the vision. I remember the vision of what I told myself when I was a kid, what I saw as a kid. And so I always try to make sure that I exude that in all that I do. So as you go forward, do it with passion. Purpose, vision, and passion, when aligned, creates a force, a will that is hard to stop. So to the class of 2020, as you go forward and do as you will do, do it with purpose, do it with vision, and do it with passion. Remember, purpose powers the mind, vision drives the body, passion fuels the soul. So on your way to greatness, which is success fulfilled. May I add, there will be happy days, sad days, glad, and so much more. But remember, all the things that you will go through will shape you and mold you for the aim that you have in mind. Trust your vision over your sight, and remember, Vision is powerful. Vision is more powerful than sight. So no matter what you're going through right now or what you will go through, just take a moment, close your eyes, and envision being greater than the circumstances that are in front of you. You all, the class of 2020, has done that. And I'm so grateful <laughs> to be here speaking to you this morning. To the class of 2020, there was this quote that I, I saw, and so I'm not taking credit for this. It says, one never graduates from Ole Miss, for a piece of us remains in Oxford. That is absolutely true. 
being back these last few days has really felt like home. And they say home is where the heart is. So I say to you all, no matter where you go, always know that Oxford welcomes you. So to the class of 2020, peace, love, and joy. As you go forward, I send you all with positive energy, frequency, and vibration. Again, this has been a tremendous honor. And just a little insight, I didn't walk at my graduation, but being here today with you all has made it well worth it. I didn't walk at that time because I was so focused on the next. But I tell you all, take a moment, enjoy this time, for you have earned it. Remember, you are powered, you are armored, you are purpose, you are vision, and you are passion. Go set the world on fire, as I know you will again. I'm very honored and thank you all for allowing me to have this, for allowing me to speak today. Thank you. Mr. Willis, thank you for sharing those insightful perspectives and for your words of challenge and encouragement. We will now confer degrees on all candidates for graduation. All candidates will be presented with their diplomas in individual school ceremonies. We would now like to recognize these candidates for degrees by school or college. I will introduce each dean who will stand and remain standing as the graduates of his or her respective school or college are presented. On behalf of Dr. Lee Cohen, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, I am pleased to present the candidates for bachelor's degree in the College of Liberal Arts. Will the candidates please stand and remain standing? On behalf of Professor Susan Duncan, Dean of the School of Law and Professor of Law, I am pleased to present the candidates for the degree of Juris Doctor. Will the candidates please stand and remain standing? <laughs> On behalf of Dr. Dave Paleo, Dean of the School of Engineering and Professor of Biomedical Engineering, I am pleased to present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the School of Engineering. Will the candidates please stand and remain standing? On behalf of Dr. Amy Wells Dolan, Associate Dean of the School of Education and Professor of Higher Education, I am pleased to present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the School of Education. Will the candidates please stand and remain standing? On behalf of Dr. David Allen, Dean of the School of Pharmacy and Professor of Pharmacology, I am pleased to present the candidates for degrees in the School of Pharmacy, including those candidates for the Doctor of Pharmacy. Will the candidates please rise and remain standing? On behalf of Dr. Ken Syree, Dean of the School of Business Administration and Professor of Finance, I am pleased to present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the School of Business Administration. Will the candidates please rise and remain standing? The Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Education, Doctor of Arts, Specialist, and Master's degrees are awarded by the Graduate School. On behalf of Dr. Annette Cluck, Dean of the Graduate School and Professor of Leadership and Counselor Education, <clears throat> I am pleased to present the candidates for degrees in the Graduate School. Will the candidates please stand and remain standing?
On behalf of Dr. Mark Wilder, Dean of the Patterson School of Accountancy and Professor of Accountancy and KPMG Chair of Accountancy, I am pleased to present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the School of Accountancy. Will the candidates please stand and remain standing? On behalf of Dr. Pete Grangine, Dean of the School of Applied Sciences and Professor of Exercise Science, I am pleased to present the candidates for bachelor's degree in the School of Applied Sciences. Will the candidates please stand and remain standing? <laughs> On behalf of Dr. Deborah Wenger, Interim Dean of the School of Journalism and New Media and Professor of Journalism, I am pleased to present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the School of Journalism and New Media. Will the candidates please stand and remain standing. On behalf of Dr. Tony Amateur, Associate Provost, Dean of General Studies, and Associate Professor of Management and Management Information Systems, I'm pleased to present the candidates for the bachelor's degree in multidisciplinary studies and university studies. Will the candidates please stand and remain standing? Chancellor Boyce, I have the honor to present these candidates who have been recommended by their respective deans and approved by the university faculty for the various university degrees. This is certainly one of the most wonderful parts of this position. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the State Institutions of Higher Learning, the university faculty recommended, I now confer upon each of you the degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, immunities, and responsibilities that pertaining thereto. Congratulations to all of you, and it's really time to celebrate, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. Across the world, these ceremonies are referred to as graduation or commencement. You have come to this place and built a piece of your legacy by completing your work as students at the university. You graduated. You also began the next chapter of your lives. You commenced. Our collective prayer for each of you, as Patrick has mentioned, is a life filled with joy and purpose, good health, an ongoing love of learning, successful, meaningful careers, and peace. As you go forward in life, I know you will be outstanding ambassadors for Ole Miss. Through your example, continuing your trajectory of accomplishment and fulfilling your dreams in the process. And remember that we are always here, cheering on your successes and eager to welcome you home whenever the opportunity arises. God bless each of you. Details of the individual school ceremonies are in the program you received this morning. We ask that you keep your copy of the program for those ceremonies. The University of Mississippi Medical Center commencement will be held on Friday, May 28th at the Trademark on the Mississippi State Fairgrounds. This event is not open to the public. Only UMMC graduates and official UMMC faculty and staff will be allowed to enter. The event will be live streamed. For your convenience, several dining options across campus will be open this afternoon. Ms. Carly Grace Willimon, who was awarded the Bachelor of Music degree in May 2020, will lead us in singing the alma mater. The words are printed in the back of your program. In keeping with the setting of today's ceremony, there will be no formal recessional. Please come forward and lead us, Ms. Willimon. Yes. 
says to the whispering southern breeze there old miss is calling calling to There's only one last thing to do, and that's ask the question, are you ready? Congratulations. We are adjourned. <laughs>